Are you trying to fix a VHS tape that's broken or ripped or wrinkled? I'm Scott the Media Hoarder. My client today is facing the same problem, an old tape that broke last time they tried to play it, and as a result, the family was banned from watching any of their home movies for years. Today we're gonna fix that. Stick around, I'll show you how to take the tape case apart, stick the ends back together, and play it one more time so you can get one good capture forever. All right, let's get cooking. Needs repair, it's broken. Uh, I can see it spooled up uh, inside the cartridge, inside the cassette. It's dusty, not too dusty to play, but if we open up the inside, press the little button on the side here, and you can open up the uh, flap, and we can see there's no tape there. So we'll slice this so we can get the two halves of the shell open. Okay, next thing to do. I have to take out the screws. So, handy dandy teeny weeny screwdriver. I don't know if that's rust or dirt. I gotta remember, I gotta keep remembering that these tapes are old. I mean, I think this tape is probably from the 1990s. This client's other tapes were from the 90s, early 90s, to mid 90s. Okay. Ba -ba -ba -ba, and we have one more. Out it goes. Da -da, da -da -da. Let's get this one out. Come on. All right. Next step, I'm going to grab this like a sandwich and flip it over so that uh, all the insides don't fall out. And I'm gonna orient it so the uh, shell top is at the top. Gently lift off and voila, voila. Uh, we see the supply reel is on this side, take up reel is here, and here there's a brake mechanism. It's uh, the reel lock. When you press the little button on the underside, you activate this, and these little springs move on their levers, and they unlock the, the uh, notches on the reels on the bottom so that they can turn. Otherwise, you can't turn them. You can turn them one way, but the other kind of a ratchet mechanism. So what I'm going to need to do now is take these reels out so I can work with them. And I'm looking at the inside and there doesn't seem to be any significant damage on the inside. We just need to stick the pieces of the tape together. Eh. So now I have two ends. I need to match these two ends up and stick them together with some tape. So I'm going to line those two up roughly like that. And phew, slicey dicey. And now to line those up. Now this is not going to be an archival splice. This is not going to be a splice for the ages to last forever. And I think it's, it's safe to say this will only get played once. This is an emergency measure, not a, you know, librarian putting things in the vault forever to stay this way. Once you fix a tape like this, get your good capture and get out. Don't play that tape again. Because splices like these are not going to last a long time and they could mess up your VCR. So then why am I doing it? Um, because when it comes to getting my client's stuff done right, I will throw caution to the wind if necessary. Okay, I'm taking a little bit too much off the edge here but I would rather have a little too little going through the tape path than a little too much with gummy edges. And that has a slight gummy edge. 
So I'm going to take a little bit more off that. I don't want any tape, uh, sticky tape bits hanging around my VCR's innards. Cut, 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 cut. Oh, just ever so tiny bit, eh? Okay, so that, for now, will do. I've got a splice. I've got tape stuck to my desk now. Yeah, time to put these back in the shell. So let's get the shell back. There's that part. Um, I got roasted in the comments last time I did one of these videos for putting the tape through the wrong path. This time, <laughs> I looked it up. I backtraced it. Okay. Okay. Got a reel in there. This one goes around this tab and then on this side of this pin. Shush. -shush. I'm following this diagram, by the way. Okay? If you want to pause that, you can. I found it at repairfact.org slash Sam. I'll put the link in the description. So our tape is now through the path where it's supposed to go. I'll just snug it up a bit. Good. Actually, I'm going to wind it past. I'm going to unlock the uh, real locks here and I'm gonna wind the tape past the damage part this damage part is right near the beginning of the tape and I apologize to my client but for the sake of your tape and my gear I'm not going to play that bit we're gonna lose a few seconds of footage but everybody will be safe at the end of the day so Looking at the label, which I should have looked at earlier when I was talking about the date, I see it's from 1996-1997. So I'm going to hold it like a sandwich again. Num, num, num. Turn it over. And get the handy dandy teeny tiny screwdriver. And put all these little screws back in. Join you in a second. Okay, it's nice and snug now, and when we open the window, the door, we should see tape. Dun, dun, dun. Little wrinkly. Time to take this into Studio B and put it through the VCR and see if we can get one honest to goodness beautiful capture or the closest thing to it. Okay, so we have the client's videotape got some VCRs. I'm actually going to use this old Sharp consumer VCR through a time-based corrector. Uh, instead of the fancy Panasonic, I'm finding this one's actually tracking this client's tape better. The picture quality is not as good, but uh, we have more uninterrupted captures. Let's run capture up here on virtual dub. We're rolling. Let's see how it goes. Ah, we have a picture. And it's playing without any drop frames so far. This is good. View of a swimming pool. So this tape has gone from unplayable and broken to let's see how it goes. So that's a good sign. We will leave this and hopefully we get a whole tape worth captured and the client will be able to see this footage that hasn't been available in years. I'm happy to report the client's tape played fine start to finish with no dropped frames and good thing we tried too because her baby videos were on there from when she was an infant and now she has it on a USB thumb drive and she can share it with family and friends and preserve it forever. If this video has helped you today, clicking the like button helps it help more people and for more video preservation adventures, subscribe to Scott the Media Hoarder. Cheers till next time.